Hi everyone, my name is Orshi aka Rocky and welcome to Phoenix Vocal Studio. Today I'm going to talk about Morissette Amon. Uh, she had a Facebook live stream in April, so she performed a few songs and I picked four songs uh, which I'm going to talk about. Not all the songs because in that case we're going to stay here for uh, tomorrow, which I don't mind. I don't mind to talk about it until tomorrow, but uh, <laughs> let's just stick to uh, the few parts. So the songs I chose uh, Bird Set Free by Sia, uh, Always Remember Us This Way by Lady Gaga, the other one is Who You Are by Jessie J, and No More Tears by Barbara Streisand, and Donna Summer, I believe, yes, <laughs> sorry, okay, so, uh, the reason why actually I wanted to talk about this, because I've seen these songs, these performances, and I really enjoyed it, I mean, that was quite special and I really liked how 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 humble the whole performance was when she was singing these songs so anyway I'm not gonna talk now let's listen to her and then I'm gonna talk so let's start with uh, Sia Bird Set Free oh my god oh god goosebumps 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 and goosebumps oh that was a good song actually to start with. Uh, and I'll tell you actually I didn't listen to this one, so that's that was actually the first first time I heard this one. Um, okay, so first of all, singing Sia is not easy. Absolutely not easy. She has a very unique style, not just actually the sound, she has a unique style how, how she uses her voice. Um, she sings exactly most of the time on the bridge. If you don't know what the bridge is, the bridge is, is the passageway between two registers when you go from one register into another, into the next one. And singing on the bridge is always more difficult than singing below the bridge or singing above because there is a gap basically between the two, uh, the two registers. So if you don't know how to go through that or how to manage that your power and your voice on the bridge, that could be quite difficult. So most people, when they try to actually choose or use their chest voice on the bridge, um, it usually they end up shouting a lot and, and overuse the throat. So, and Sia sings almost constantly on the bridge. So, and plus she has this quite unique uh, way, like with the voice break, which she has too. She did it great, amazingly. So, um, singing Sia is not easy. She did it amazingly and very well. And I really love the lyrics of this song. I cannot stress enough how much I love it. Just just think about it, just say it like I, um, I sing for love, I sing for me, I'll shout it out like a bird set free. I don't care if I sing of key, I, I don't care if I sing of key, I sing for love. Yeah, so it's, it's again, it's not about who cares. I mean like, yes, if time to time we have an, yeah, we sing of key. It's all about just that, that, that joy and that's what it means. Like I sing for love, I sing for me. That's, I, I sing because I love singing. I sing because singing makes me feel good, makes me feel free like a bird. So it's, it's, I, I, that, that lyrics, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. I love it. And this is a song, this is a lyrics I would say that every singer should sing at least once or time to time when they forget the joy about joy for singing. We many times get to that place that we just, uh, you know, learn so much technique, learn so much stuff, we focus too much on the technique, and we forget the joy. We, we cannot forget the joy. Singing is, is an expression, I tell you guys every time. Singing is the expression of, of who you are. So you cannot, you cannot afford it that you don't enjoy what you do. You cannot say that I, I I don't enjoy singing. Then why the hell you do it? Anyway, so this yeah the way she is saying it, and I love that actually she makes some mistakes even on the on the keyboard. It's that's what it's about. We are human, and she did it, and she was still perfect. I would say she was still perfect the way she sang the song. That was just wonderful. I love the way she smiles. She is so happy when she's singing. She, her face just made for smiling. And oh, I love it, I love it. So that was beautiful, obviously. And 
It's so free the way she sings. There is no block on the throat, in the throat whatsoever, nothing. She just releases everything. Wonderful. She uses, yes, belting, she uses mixed voice. Perfect combination, absolutely. All right, let's do, okay, next one is, uh, always remember us this way. I choose actually the This is another song as well, which is one of, one of my ultimate favorite. Uh, Lady Gaga is also an unbelievably great singer. She has a great technique, so I, can, I couldn't highly recommend her, actually, if you want to uh, learn some really great technique for belting and for raspy voice. She is really good at it. Also, Lady Gaga has a very interesting way of singing because... Uh, most of the time I, I say that you need to bring your placement quite forward if you do belting. So you need to get out of the throat. But she she does it quite, she keeps a lot. She keeps the sound into the mouth and which makes her sound quite dark. Not a bright one, a very dark one. So I can see that, that basically she uses her mouth a lot. It's a very rich way uh, of singing. And... And it's very unique because she doesn't bring it forward. She doesn't bring it here. She, for some reason, she, she's able to sing uh, with power, with rasp, with volume, with, with projection, but inside. So that's a unique way to do it. So that's, that's amazing. She, she, she could do it almost like her, I would say. Uh, but I would, when she sings, to me, it's a little bit lighter, but in a good way lighter. So, I mean, obviously, I love Lady Gaga. She's excellent. But the way she did it, it was very unique as well. And that's what I actually, I love this, uh, that she doesn't copy. She didn't try to copy Lady Gaga, the start. She has a very nice husky sound when she sings, which makes her voice very, very, makes her sound very unique. It's not the usual, always tell. It's not the usual R&B singing. She uses, yes, uh, she's using, um, I would say, mixed voice, but it's, it's between mixed voice and belting. It's not the, the light mix, it's not the full belting, because you don't need actually full belting for pop or, or R&B songs. It's somewhere in the middle. She found a perfect combination of the two. So, and I love it. That's, that's, that's very good because that's, again, that's something that her style, it's something that makes her authentic. And that's what you need as a, as a singer. You, you need to be authentic. You need to find your own way. You need to find your, your thing that makes, uh, makes you authentic, that this is you. And we're going to know that, yes, this is you. And she did it. Okay, next song. Next song, next song. Who You Are by Jessie J. Hello. 
I just gotta stop for a second. Uh, s very similar thing I'm gonna say what she did uh, in Lady Gaga. Uh, she didn't copy. She actually, she did very, very differently how Jessie J sings this one. And I like it because that's what a live performance is about. Like that you just form the song the way you feel. And that's why it, it's amazing that uh, no, no, that's why that's why I, I I prefer obviously live performances. We always prefer live performances because because we get what the the singer actually feels in that moment in that song during that song. She she just wanted to sing this part in a very nice, quiet and softer place, a softer way, and I like that. But I'm curious actually how she continues. Jump to the chorus. Uh, yeah, and then she goes up in that amazingly high, high part. Uh, again, Jessie J is another singer who has an excellent technique, and it's not easy to sing her. She chose, uh, come on, this, uh, she chose Lady Gaga, Sia, and Jessie J, and she sings, she sings them like in the most easy, most easy way as possible. It's like, like yeah, like she sings like this. She no. She sings these songs, she sings the most difficult songs and singers' songs like it would be the most natural thing on earth. It's like there is no, no, no problem for her. She sings high, low, it's just coming through. It's so, it looks so easy when she does it. And it's supposed to be easy. It's only hard or difficult if you don't know the technique. Everything has a technique. Every song, the, the way... No, okay, that's not what I wanted to say. That basically, um, when we think like that, oh my God, this is just so difficult, it's just so complicated, that's not true. It's just basically a matter of technique. If you know the technique, it's not complicated anymore because you know how to do it. It's just something, you need to learn how to do it. You just need to learn the technique, that's all. Not it, There is no, yeah, it's just simple as it is. And her, like, um... She also used here distortion, which uh, I call it, um, I don't know if it's all just me, but it's called an epiglottic uh, distortion. Epiglottic distortion mainly used in uh, pop and R&B style or Motown style. And she did it perfectly on these high notes. Uh, singing these type of songs that uh, it requires a very high placement that you constantly up here. Jessie J also likes to sing on, on the bridge, just like Lady Gaga actually. Huh. Yeah, the old singers actually sings on on that constantly on the bridge. And she just she sings it so easily and amazing. Yeah, I'm 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 not yep. Yeah, I'm 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 not sure. I'm not sure because I that's what I expected her. But uh that is just proof and proof and proof that she she was born to sing. This is easy for her. She it's it comes naturally. There is no question here. Okay, so now let's do No More Tears. If you had enough, don't pick it up with the stuff. Don't you do it now. If you had your fill, get the chair, pay the bill. You can't do it. Come on, no, no, no. Tell him to just get Him out, that 
is a completely different style. You know, it's a song from the 70s. Um, uh, and, and I think this is also something that she, it fits to her voice very, very well. She found those songs, actually, that, that she knows what, uh, what it fits to her voice, which means she knows her own voice. She knows exactly what she can sing, how she can sing. And, and she, she sings all of them so uniquely. Like, this is her. She doesn't copy anybody. I don't feel like that, okay, that, that's supposed to be, you know, better than this way or this way or this way. To be honest, I'm not gonna lie. The one, the Who You Are, the Jessie J song, I think she did it uh, even better than the original. So, um, it doesn't mean Jessie J is also amazing, but I, I really love this, the, her performance. So all of the four songs was just performed beautifully and, and all, like I would say perfectly. And I just love, again, the simple, the way, the simple way she sings, she performs, she smiles, she is so innocent. And she just sits with a, you know, sit down, but there is, I can see that there is a pillow, be, you know, below her, a pillow below her. This is so cute. I guess she's very tiny. I don't know how, how tall she is. And she just, you know, she sits down with the piano. She sings. Sometimes she makes mistakes. Who cares? She just smiles and carry on. And and that's the way how you can actually carry on during life or through life. Yeah, shit happens, but you carry on. So again, vocally, this is this is beautiful. Again, mixed voice, belting. Uh, sometimes she uses some falsetto, but she can. She's kind of using a very nice mixture of uh, belting and mixed voice with an amazing, nicely husky sound. She uses distortion. She really did a great job. Absolutely, well done, my heads off. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope the video helps you and uh, to understand a bit more about this type of technique and singing. Uh, if you have any questions, please pause below the video or you can book a consultation or lesson with me. you find the website link below the video as well. Uh, I teach all these techniques, what she can hear, what she does. Um, if you have any new suggestions, I'm open as, as usual. So thank you very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. If you are someone who has no chance to take one-to-one -one lessons for any reasons, you can join our membership site where you can get a lifetime access for audio, video exercises, instructions, explanations, and not only the exercises, you can find the audio files which you can use every single day till the rest of your life. You can ask as many questions as you want from me, from your vocal coach, about any technique, any song, any band, any singer. You find the link below the video so you can start your training even today. Thank you very much and see you soon.